so we've been growing our uh, awards list uh, each year, uh, bringing back some of the favorites, added some new ones, and we're going to kick things off uh, with the Best Brosif Award. Uh, this is, if I can pull up the actual description, your favorite companion or war buddy NPC from a 2013 game. What we're going to do is we've actually nominated several things in the background, several games in the background, and uh, our goal today is to f- come up with a final list of three and then pick a winner out of those three. So Using um, a coin toss. Yes, yes. And well, to preface... Ask. Using science. <laughs> to preface, I have not played any games this year or have any idea what these categories are or what the <laughs> nominations are. So, so whenever Jordan is talking, <laughs> he's just stalling. <laughs> so, just, yeah, just so just ignore when he, he's talking. He, he's a Bill O'Reilly of this podcast. <laughs> <at> this <laughs> so uh, I'm going to open up the floor as far as his nominations off the top of your head. Um, Ethan, what jumps out? Best Brosif. Um, you know, I, I've, I've, I've lacked a little bit of experience because, again, I, I've, I've played a bunch of games, but not necessarily the, the, the bigger games. Um, but Elizabeth is probably the first one uh, from Bioshock Infinite just because she's super full of power and, and she's pretty friendly and she gives you treats, she's pretty friendly. Uh, treats. Health, pretty friendly. Yeah. Uh, coins and that kind of stuff, and you don't have to even have to ask her. She's just like, hey, you want some treats? And you're like, well, I guess. A rocket so. every now and again? Yeah. Don't know where she finds those at. Those are all those are nice. <laughs> yeah. She's actually really. I mean, the the timing of their their coin flip always it, it always impressed me. Like like she'll be just across the map, need some money, flip that, no problem, catch every. Time. Well, and she's always bringing you back from the the, the, the dead yeah. man. And, yeah. and as somebody who who stupidly played it on hard mode, I mean, she was just <laughs> always like every every five minutes, you know, my vision would go black, and the first person I saw was Elizabeth. And to me, uh, that says a lot about you know being a good brosif is a uh, good brosif is somebody who's who's willing to uh, save save your life from death. Because I don't know about I mean, you guys are pretty good friends. I don't know if I call you brosifs because I think if I died, you'd probably run away. If my I life mean, was in danger, you give me, especially Jordan. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not yeah. sure what. Jordan I'd buy a ticket to Jordan. If, it was, da- if it was dangerous to come and <laughs> save you, yeah, uh, yeah, <laughs> probably, probably not. Well, that's the thing. She jumped right in the line. I mean, either, whether it was giant mechanic George Washington's or mm. whatever else, Bioshock get it through at you. She just like you know avoid all gunfire and just get up there and and I would make a move. The, the I'd, I'd make a move the, towards uh, you. The mouth to mouth, or you know whatever. <laughs> There's there's mouth to mouth DLC. Is that what you're telling me? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what happened. You don't know what happened. <laughs> uh, I, I know what I know. What, I know what happened, and that would be weird. <laughs> uh, spoilers. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's part two. We will of hey, let's see. spoilers. <laughs> uh, we will do our best to avoid spoilers today, but it is inevitable. It's going to happen. We'll try to, we'll try to flag it. If, if you haven't time, finished but. Bioshock by now, it's your own fault. Yeah. So yeah. Speaking yeah. of speaking of spoilers. Uh, I think uh, the other big standout best brosif would be Ellie from The Last of Us. Agreed. Definitely. Mm-hmm. So, I like Ellen Page. Uh, Ellen Page. Makes a great, <laughs> makes a great, great companion. Yeah, should, we give it, should we give it to Ellie or should we give it to Ellen Page? We should give it to Ellie uh, Page. <laughs> I wouldn't give it to, to Ellen Page because she wasn't that's, she wasn't too happy to, to have her <laughs> likeness split between two different games. But that sounds like our style then. Um, I wouldn't even argue Ellie because of all the fan art that I saw. With, uh, <laughs> world. What direction are you Ellie taking? Ellie into this their one? own lives. I so say, I don't do you... know. I, I think if if there is a coin flip needed, let's let's look up fan art and see who, who <laughs> did more of what. And that's uh yeah. The, it, when fan art hits a certain creepy level, it's no longer like it needs a different name because that's not those those, those fans are the creepiest. <laughs> yeah, it was slash fic fan art. I mean, if you really want to get into it, like that's <laughs> that's definitely what it is. Um. Some people just have a story to tell, and <laughs> through graphic and, visual. And, <laughs> yeah, great. Yeah. Any other you nominations? Scoop? Art. Uh, Ellie was my first. I'm trying to remember who else I nominated. I hope you nominated Keith David. There we go. <laughs> yes, Keith David. <laughs> Keith David. Keith Saints David was a good one, even though he will not have sex with you. But he I mean, won't. Makes, you almost, him, I, yeah, I almost that elevates respect him above him, the yeah, rest of the I crew respect members. him more for that. He's the only non-whore <laughs> on the ship. <laughs> You gotta save um, the world and uh, then take him to dinner. Yeah, but you he can. Wants be, he wants to right be romance. At some point, you can romance him. You can try. In my dreams. Oh, okay. But he. Uh, I'm gonna do keeps some. It real. Fa- I'm gonna do some fanfic real quick. <laughs> yeah, draw right this back. picture to get him on the level with the other two. <laughs> uh, well, I don't know about Keith David. He was kind of. He was kind of a. How, not, how do you not trust Keith David? Did you not play the game? <laughs> <laughs> I was say he, he's kind of a dick. He's kind of a dick later on. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes I just. 
just talking about him, I elevate him as the person and forget, like, we're talking in context of the game. Yeah. I'm sure Keith David himself is fine, but... I don't know. Video okay. game Keith I don't know. Have you seen that. Requiem for a Dream? I... <laughs> Have you seen The Cape? <laughs> No, no, no the television has. series. <laughs> Who no. has? He was, he was great in the Cape. He carried that show. Cape. Oh, I forgot about the Cape. <laughs> <laughs> all, all four episodes. Well, all of four the episodes. Cape. <laughs> it didn't even make it. Mini series. Through, through through the, through didn't the, even make yeah. it through the season. Through They're the just like, oh, let's just stop playing this. I like that show. <laughs> we recorded six more episodes, but we'll just stop. <laughs> I'm also gonna go with uh, the Big Brother from Brothers: a Tale of Two Sons. I'll back that up. The deadbeat liter- dad, literally a brother. The deadbeat. <laughs> I don't know about the yeah. I don't know about the rest brothers. of the family there, but um. the, the dead mom at the beginning. Oh, spoilers! Sorry. <laughs> the living mom who might die later in the story, <laughs> like a minute later. The mom with the mystery fate. <laughs> <laughs> the sad, sorrowful mystery fate. Uh, other other nominations I got: vote the Hulk from Lego Marvel superheroes. <coughs> Uh, Edge from Remember Me. Edge. I forgot. George is going to be pushing oh this Remember God. Me agenda. The, the only entire... game I, the only new game I played in in 2013. So He's whenever he says, many. whenever he says, re- <laughs> Remember Me, make sure you mute him. And I paid full price for that game too. So yeah, it had sorry. better, it had better end up on 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 a list somewhere, I somewhere paid, on the I internet. paid eight dollars for it. I so was it worth that, that much? Game. Uh, Have you installed it? <laughs> well, it's. It's worth eight dollars if you don't count the fact that you could buy Skyrim for eight dollars the other day too. <laughs> so c- comparatively, no. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, there are a lot of games you can get for less than ten bucks that are worth way more than ten bucks. That is not one of 2009 them. Two thousand nine game of the year. Remember me? Remember? Sure. <laughs> it would have been a great game, you know. Yeah. What five years Before ago? Before open world games. Yeah. yeah. Um, did Before anybody me. else play Call of Duty Ghosts? Because Riley the dog. From Call of Duty Ghosts. Wait, who played it? I know, I know some of our. I can text my brother real quick. He was, <laughs> he enjoyed it. <laughs> did you, did you stay away from this Call of Duty, Ethan? You usually try. I uh, usually campaigns. wait until it, like the price comes down, okay. which that usually takes about four years. So um, I didn't jump into this one. No, I, I even with the dog. I mean, I, I don't need a. I don't know. I don't need that kind of sadness. Having a human get NPC get. I mean, I don't know what happened. So, but I'm just assuming that like <laughs> they always kill the dogs though. Media, it died. I I can't, I can't imagine it survived. There's do you no play way dogs as the dog at any point during the game? I hope so. Like, do you, I've do, heard you do. Do you go down and then the dogs got to go and get help? <laughs> I would play an entire <laughs> Call of Duty game what is as it? a dog. What is it, buddy? What is it, Riley? Maybe that's the sequel to this one. It's just all dogs. All dogs Call of Duty. All dogs Call of Duty. Is he edition. stuck in the well? <laughs> <laughs> what is it, boy? Press X to sniff butt. Um, <laughs> I think Aaron, you'll have my back on this cabin. Cap. I was gonna say cabin next. Cabin from Animal Crossing: New Leaf. Take a shot. <laughs> <laughs> His shanties are. They're awesome. They're they are the great. second best shanties of the year. I would I would vouch for that. We can talk about that later. But. I don't still I still don't know what a shanty is or but it's like an old shack. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's, it's a, a shanty a town, man. Shanty town, a tomb raider. So yeah, it's something like that. I think a shanty is just a song. <laughs> like if there's like a derelict water ship somewhere while and people are using it to build Mil- housing. Nilmar think. thinks uh, Call of Duty is adding pussies to the game next year. <laughs> Call of Duty <laughs> pussy edition. <laughs> so the cats, so they all just lick Pulling each that other. Low fruit, huh? Yeah, low hanging fruit. <laughs> All right. uh, any 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 other additions? Uh, I've covered everything that's gotten votes from our crew. But Does chat have anything? What any, about the camera? And did you guys last? play any video games? <laughs> Is that a good bros? <laughs> <laughs> no, it let me down. Grandma, let me down. grandma, and grandma. Cookie grandma cookie 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 clickers. Clickers. <laughs> yeah, I don't think she's. Your, I don't think she's. I don't bro. think she's a bro at it's all. Grandma, she's there evil. with you, man. The whole time she's, she is there. She's making click. Yeah, she's yeah, clicking she's, too. She's making those cookies. Out, no one voted for Tingle. <laughs> Ting, uh, so when. Yeah, Wind Waker HD. That's is he a sidekick in it? Yeah, yeah. What? I want to kick him in the side. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, <laughs> Took uh, Justin forever to find just him at the g- beginning of the game. Other games that <laughs> were <true>. nominated but <laughs> didn't receive votes was uh, Randy the Thief from Dragon's Crown, uh, Drippy. Josh isn't here. Drippy from Nino Cooney. That voice, Drippy's voice. Oh, That's drippy. all I want to say about Drippy is his voice. He's got a lantern hanging from his nose. Oh too. man, Drippy, Drippy made that game for sure. <laughs> oh. Uh, Jonah from Tomb Raider. Now, who is that? <laughs> that's the big Samoan is he the big, guy. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, the, he's Samoan? He's a bro. I don't know if he's the best bro, but he, we shouldn't recognize his broness. All right. Well, his name can go temporarily on the board. So Yeah, we'll just erase it immediately after you type it. <laughs> <laughs> immediately accent. Uh, T.T. Spider-Brown from Blood Dragon. 
Yeah. <laughs> no, if Ethan's not excited well, about it, then here's the thing: he was a great Brosif, but I mean, you know, you got you got to really separate the Brosif that's used as actually a Brosif throughout the game. The Brosif that's used as as emotional material to get you pumped for the yeah. rest. Of the, I mean, that's a different category altogether. Right. Maybe one we'll add next next year. Maybe. All right. Uh, so these are our nominees. Let's break this down into uh, some finalists here. Um, so erase Jonah. Uh, yeah. Sorry, Jonah. <laughs> <laughs> So, so how many do we need? What two? We need three total, and then we get to pick a winner out of those three. I think uh, I think we can kill Riley. Did any harsh? Put him down. I, I mean, I, I like dogs. Can, oh, yeah, did any of us play enough though? To, no. let's, let's put Riley to sleep. I, I feel let's, like let's take him out behind <laughs> out behind the shed, behind the shanty. Let's just I feel take like him out. The dogs had their moment in the sun at E three. So yeah. All right. Um, probably the Hulk. Yeah, I like giving him a nod. Sad. <laughs> I almost feel like to make it easy, you could probably just uh, delete everything up to Big Brother, and we decide from there. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't look like any of these uh, other ones are going to. The only thing close. the only thing working against Kaepernick is he has been in other games, and now, none yeah. of you guys played Nino Cooney, right? I played a I played a uh, I played a chunk of dozen it. hours of it, but because Drippy's pretty awesome. Drippy but, Drippy was I thought someone, but yeah, like it. he was better as far than, as Elizabeth Ellie, and then like yeah. What I know you about brothers, here. like you got some heavy hitters. Yeah, that's a good final four. I, I'd give up Keith David on this one based on what we said about the game itself. Yep, I would too. And I, I don't think he was going to be out brother, any but of those. A big brother is always a good. Didn't play Saints Row, but like I said, Apparently. amazing in the cape. <laughs> <laughs> Like he was like a fatherly oh, figure, you know. He was there. He was helping. He's the guy. still going to be funny five hours from now. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> All right, so here are our finalists, Elizabeth, Ellie, and the big brother from Brothers of Tale of Two Sons. So we have to pick a winner, and I have to figure out how to highlight the winner. Am I already <laughs> using bold? <laughs> just, just select it, and then... You just, just select it, and we'll know. I'm already using bold. So. Uh, okay, so are we doing spoilers? Because um, Big Brother is like the... One of the one of the key things about that game is the gameplay, one of the gameplay elements... Yeah, that comes up later in the game. Like, okay, so he maybe I would be okay to knock him down because it's brother in the more familiar familial sense than mm -hmm. like your bro. Like he he, teach, he literally he teaches little he brother bro. what he needs to know. Yeah, and um, more so than Elizabeth. Yeah, and like, Elizabeth and Ellie got your back. Yeah, because like true. even El even Ellie like. Like you know, she's being she's being defended by Joel, but at some point, like she like at some point she could survive on her own. I mean, there's a very clear yeah. She gets on Joel's yeah. level at a point. Get on, get on that level. Yeah, <laughs> and then and then she's kind of taking care of Joel. Okay, so the but the bit. but man, yeah, Elizabeth's there with you the whole time helping you. So I would even say mm -hmm. the edge the edge to me goes to Elizabeth because she is an and she's a non playable character the entire time. Mm -hmm. That's true, mm -hmm. and she. I can see that. Yeah, she she helps you more actually too. I mean, yeah. she's constantly true. She's, Ellie, she's Ellie. helping you find things. Like Ellie is cool as a character. She evolves, sense. evolves. Yeah. yeah, like I yeah. liked her character. I thought she was funny. Um, but you know, she doesn't really do that much during the game. Whereas Elizabeth is always throwing stuff at you, showing you things you missed. Well, and and, and to me, a good bro is someone that compliments your your weaknesses. Which is exactly what Elizabeth does, you know, in that game. I mean, it's like when you, you die, she brings you back to life. Portals open and that kind of stuff, and it's kind of cool to have that. I have no experience with Ellie, so yeah, if there's a, a really good reason for her, uh, I'd definitely be there. But I guess what it comes down to is who would you want, you know, to have your back in real life? Oh, see, that's oh, that's, that's say, a problem yeah. though. Like when you put it that way. I mean, okay, so so. Well, I guess Elizabeth, Ellie's Elizabeth, pretty Elizabeth, tough. Elizabeth, Ellie's real life, not, not reality, because if that's <laughs> well, the case, and Elizabeth would be awful to have with you. Yeah, that's what uh, I mean. Like, she's not going to say, I mean, she does save your life, but it's through, like, all the tears and that kind of stuff. She's not, but Ellie will pick up a brick and bash a dude's skull in for you. Yeah. Twice. Mm -hmm. Jump on a guy's back and stab him in the neck. Yeah. Elizabeth, Elizabeth do that? didn't need you, nor did she trust you in the beginning, but she developed a broness with you during the game. Yeah. And I, that that says a lot. I always like those the stories where like there's not a, a like it's not very apparent that you're going to be friends with somebody in the beginning, and then you just build that up, and it's <laughs> like I love you. Okay, literally the big brother from Brothers is is yeah is is a bro. Literally, yes, Ellie 
and Elizabeth are not. And thus we will remove him <laughs> from <Okay>. the list. <laughs> I guess I'm still just from the... Tra- I, I, I'm leaning towards Elizabeth. Elizabeth's got my vote. Yeah, she's got mine. I think for, for, from the gameplay perspective and how she complements the weaknesses that point Ethan brought up, I think I would, I'll give my vote to Elizabeth. I really like Ellie. I like her knife. I like her spunk. Yeah. I like her Ellen Pageness. <laughs> but yeah. Elizabeth. I love both of them because I didn't have to worry about either one of them. Like that was the yeah. big. Yeah. Both yeah. of those games, yeah. I was worried that. Um, they you're, were going to You're going to lose a round because they got yeah. shot. or that Yeah, because you weren't paying attention to them and they died. I think. Uh, you can you can still make the argument. No, I think I'll have to Are go you going with Elizabeth. For Ellie? I actually voted for Ellie. That, that was my pick. But yeah. hearing people talk about Elizabeth, it, she's, a bro, she's a better bro. I mean, Ellie's not even going to be able to save you if you're drowning. Because last year no, was, she can't it swim. Was, she can't swim. It was Garrus. Spoiler. The, the, the one. That <laughs> <laughs> so I keep trying to think, like, man, they're not. Neither of them are really up there. No, Garrus. that that wasn't a spoiler, Ethan. You, I know. you have to. You have to, <laughs> you have to pull her around on planks through the whole game. The, the audience, the audience is already cr- claiming that the Grimmies are fixed. Yeah, the first <laughs> category. <laughs> so Elizabeth is our best bros of I'll allow it. <laughs> Thanks. Thank God. Thank God I'll we have it. 